Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys a random Yu-Gi-Oh! booster pack opening. Uh, picked up eight packs of booster packs today from my locals. Uh, very a weird assortment, but I picked up this uh, many packs because it added up to the uh, $30 price. So you can get the Lost Art uh, promo. So got another Monster Reborn. I think they're really, really cool how they're doing this. I think we get Exodia in the next couple months as well for the pieces. So definitely cool for collectors and just people seeking the you know original arts of the cards. So let's go ahead and jump right into the pack opening. We'll go ahead and go right down the line how I lined them up see if we pull anything cool first up extreme force we have a vendred core i think there are a lot of vendred hollows in this set that i just end up pulling so many of them especially the ritual if i don't get the ritual in this pack opening i'll consider it a victory on my end because otherwise it just shows me that that card is trolling me because i literally every time i buy a pack or you know two packs i always at least pull that ritual so let's try not to get the ritual monster but first dragons of legend 2 we have the prediction princesses and we have legendary knight critias uh got these packs just to try and pull the um toon monsters toon kingdom mimic cat those are actually pretty up there right now in price so i thought why not back to extreme force And we got Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse and Doolittle Chimera. All right, next up, Millennium Pack. Card of Demise or Left Arm Offering are the hyped up cards to get from this one. We got Celtic Guardian, Spiral Spear Strike, Relinquished, Tiger Axe, and Five Head Dragon. And they always put the hollow after the rare. So if you want to do like a card move thing, you know, move the cards around, uh, could have done that. Completely forgot to though. All right, another extreme force. We're two for two on the supers. Let's change that up a bit. There's a new box too. Oh, we got a secret rare. So definitely changed it up. Pendulum paradox. Uh, my girlfriend actually pulled the other hollow from the box, so I think that pretty much means that box is empty, but very, very nice. Seeker Rare and Glory of the Noble Knights. Scramble Egg 2, so that makes it definitely worth it. Happy about that Seeker Rare, at least. That proved that. Got five packs from the right side. The last Dragons of Legend 2. Let's pull something good. Aquarium Lightning. I said Aquarium. Aquarium. Uh, Crystal Dine. Arona. Prediction Princess. And Tyrant Burst Dragon. These cards, I swear, I know that they made the Toon uh, Monster short print, but it really is crazy just how short print they are in that pack. Two Extreme Force left. I tried to organize it to look nice for the thumbnail, but there wasn't any way with five packs of Extreme Force. And for this one, we have... Another Vendred Core, so got doubles of those already, and a Vector Scare Archfiend. And the last pack, another Scramble Leg. Last pack. Let's see how we end it. We have up, oh, nice, an Ultra Rare. Mech Knight Spectrum Supreme, so the Link Monster for the Mech Knights, so we ended it with an Ultra too. And we didn't pull the Ritual Monster for Vendreds, which, all in all, it is a good card. I was just, you know, I have so many of them from so many booster packs that I pulled. And we also pulled the Yellow Star for the Mech Knights. So, all in all, it was a very good pack opening. Um, I think the Extreme Force obviously pulled the most of them, definitely the best. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.